Well, right now, Round Rock School Board members are considering the district superintendent's resignation and voluntary separation agreement. This conversation follows several closed door meetings in recent weeks regarding Steve Flores' contract. KXN's Caitlin Carmo gets us up to speed with some background on tonight's conversation. Caitlin. Yeah, that meeting started a little over an hour ago, and so far we've heard from community members praising Dr. Flores and his work at the district, many of them in dismay over his potential resignation. The overall sentiment seems to be that board members are pushing him out. I feel that we are making a terrible mistake to allow such a leader to leave. Dr. Flores is and has been the heart and soul of our district. He is the captain of our ship. In my eyes, it's a sad day for Round Rock ISD. We love you, Dr. Flores, and we don't want you to go. And today's meeting follows a trustees called November 2nd meeting called by trustees to evaluate Dr. Flores. District officials tell us that evaluation is not public record because it happened behind closed doors. But prior to that November 2nd meeting, Dr. Flores wrote a letter to trustees saying he would not be requesting a contract extension from the current board, nor would he accept one. Dr. Flores's contract ends June of 2022. He also wrote, quote, I have faced many monumental challenges in my 37 years as an educator, but nothing could have prepared us for this pandemic. Now, following that closed session, we heard from trustee board members, some praising Dr. Flores, while others upset about a lack of transparency. During the biggest crisis, Dr. Flores wasn't providing this board even the most basic information. To this day, I couldn't even tell you what our attendance looks like. Why should I have to beg and plead for time and meetings to answer the most pressing questions about this district's response to COVID? What has been requested is information that we continue to work on. We just completed our nine week uh, grading period. And in Round Rock ISD during this pandemic, we wanna work with our students as much as possible, give some grace period. So some of the data that we're looking at is still being compiled. And so on, Mo on Friday, you receive some of that data, but as soon as we can, make no mistake, we're not trying to hold data away. And during that November 2nd meeting in a split vote, trustees also moved to not extend longevity pay for Dr. Flores or give him a 2% raise. He currently makes more than $301,000. They did, however, approve a $5,000 performance based incentive, and we're going to keep following the action at today's board meeting and bring you an update as soon as we have one. Caitlin Carmo, KXCN News. All right, Caitlin, thank you. And looking for a new superintendent could take some time. Here's a look at what the process looked like last time they filled the job for Round Rock ISD. The previous superintendent, Jesus Chavez, announced in January 2013 that he was retiring in December of that year. Steve Flores was named the lone finalist for the job seven months later in August. He started work in October 2013. 